Well, the controversial title didn't stop thousands of people from lining up for a chance to play a role in Spike Lee's new movie. Some 5,000 hopefuls wrapped around St. Sabina Academy today to audition for Chirac. Critics say the movie's title paints the wrong picture of our city, but people at the audition say the movie has the potential to expose real problems in some of Chicago's most violent neighborhoods. It's a great opportunity to film the truths as uh, long as, you know, the movies stay away from any lies or falsehoods. I think it's a great start for Chicago. One Chicago alderman wants to deny Lee $3 million in tax credits unless he changes the title of the film. This is Woody Academics and now I'm Spike Lee. He's doing a movie called Chirac in Chirac. Now he had an audition and about 5,000 people showed up. Now, Imagine how that looked. I mean, niggas rolling up to the goddamn set with their own props, their own personal guns. Of course, they're not going to be lacking. How the fuck could you possibly tell a savage to act when in real life they're doing what they're going to be doing on screen? These niggas are really savages. You don't got to tell them to act. You just got to tell them to be them. Now, here's the thing. Not a lot of people are fans of this movie. And the movie title, as I said, is Chirac. Now, let me take a step back because you guys might be confused. Now, Spike Lee, his movie, Chirac, is causing a lot of concern for a lot of people because of the title. If you don't know, there's a war in Chirac, okay? Savages are killing each other, turning each other into packs, smoking on the ops, putting niggas on RIP t-shirts, gun charges, flat out coonery. But Spike Lee movie, Chirac, is not what you think it is, though. More details came out today. And apparently it's supposed to be actually a ancient Greek, it's based off an ancient Greek comedy about a battle of sexes. At least that's according to Screen Daily. It's supposed to be the Chicago version of Do the Right Thing. Spike Lee produced that. Now the mayor, Ron Emanuel. Now he's definitely not a fan. He spoke to Spike Lee personally. He said, I don't like this shit. Now, of course, I understand why he might not like it, right? Remember, his son got caught lacking, got gun-butted, and ran off the block by savages. So, the title alone probably gives him nightmares. But Screendale is, is claiming that Kanye, Jennifer Hudson, Samuel Jackson, they'll all be in what they're calling a musical comedy. Now, you're probably wondering, what's the plot? Now, the plot is basically around a bunch of gang violence, as it is going on in Chirac, but a woman and basically females band together and they strive to end gang warfare by saying, listen, you niggas keep killing each other, nobody getting fucked, right? Ain't that a goddamn thing? You think niggas won't stop killing each other if they couldn't, get, uh, they couldn't um, fuck chicks, right? Which you never know, this is savages, they might just rape the chicks, you never know, man, these goddamn niggas, you just under, out of control. But shit, ain't it ironic though, because... The thotties currently in Chirac are nothing what this uh, this musical comedy is going to portray. They love the fuckery. And to keep it real, anytime you see one of the main coons, one of the main savages, they always got the baddest bitch, right? They love to get double penetrated. They got the dick and the pussy. They got a 45 caliber handgun in the anus. They love it. They love this goddamn thing. And to keep it real, when the guy they're with dies, they, oh my God, I can't believe he died. Bitch, what are you talking about? Who, what are you talking about? But anyway, let me tell you this. As far as I go, I don't have a problem with the film. Now, the thing is, man, I, there's a lot of people that say, hey, and one person was quoted by saying, they dislike the film because it's bringing a spotlight on the violence in the city of Chicago, in Chirac, okay? They said they're trying to erase that um, image of violence, and they don't want things bringing a spotlight on the violence. Now, let me tell you this. The reason I don't have a problem with the film is that you don't eradicate a problem by ignoring it. That's not how you do it. Take Baltimore, for example. When people ignored police brutality for all those years, brushed everything under the rug, oh, oh yeah, yeah I, I, I know somebody got killed, but, but uh, let's, let's not go with charging the police, this, that, and third. That's how you get those situations. When you ignore the problem and don't tackle it, you get to that point. Now, if you act like, or if you want people to act like senseless murders aren't happening in Chicago at a very abnormal rate, and you want to act like it's normal, you get a culture of kids that get grown up and they think it's cooler to become savages rather than become like good citizens. And I'm not saying they're all savages. There's a lot of kids, and we, I did a story about a kid and he was doing all type of uh, uh, science, which was very progressive. Big salute to him. 
But the majority of people not like him. The majority of people, because the culture breeds this savagery, that's more attractive to them. So ignoring it doesn't really do nothing about it, right? So it's, and this is what I hate about these situations. People just point the finger, right? People point the finger like, oh, if you guys weren't highlighting Chirac, then the violence wouldn't happen. You think these niggas would just stop killing? Really? Do, do you really think that? To be honest, the reason why people are highlighting because they're seeing the numbers and they're like, whoa, how the fuck is 600 niggas getting, getting gunned down over here? How the fuck? How the fuck is 82 niggas getting shot in a weekend? That doesn't happen on U.S. soil. How the fuck is a 13-year-old shooting a 14, 15, and 16-year-old when he's supposed to be in school? There's something wrong. But of course, people will love to point. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a blame game. You're not going to blame the parents. Blame the people who are talking about it. Blame the people who are doing the news. Blame the people who do the documentary. Blame the people who, because there's the, the title Chirac blames Spike Lee. Right? Listen, what I'm seeing what Spike Lee's doing, he's about to give jobs to a bunch of people. Now, if what I understand about this film is not glorifying, and I've always had a problem with glorifying. If you're going to glorify it without showing the full repercussions, without showing that you do this, you do all this coonery, it lands you here. And that's why when you guys wonder, like, yo, why you be talking about Sir so-and-so, he's in jail? Nigga, exactly. I'm trying to tell you, you do that, you're going to be here. That's absolute. So I don't have a problem with it. Now, the movie is supposed to be about ending gang violence. But it seems that for a lot of people, they rather the people there who prey upon each other, who I personally call coons because a coon perpetuates a negative stereotype about black people, they rather them... Us quote unquote uh, uh, take advantage of people rather than someone else come and try to give some type of up. But I won't consider it say all too positive, but it's showing people that hey, maybe you guys should end this shit. And here's the sad thing these marches, these peace protests, this and third, people don't want to hear that shit. Sadly, nobody wants to hear that shit. The younger generation, if you're not entertaining them, get the fuck out of their face, okay? Nobody wants to go to a march. Nobody's like, God damn it, man, I can't wait till 3 o'clock. I'm going to this goddamn march. No, but I guarantee a lot of people watch the movie. I guarantee a lot of people will pay attention to the war in Chirac. And that's why I think these platforms, you, these have to be used to let people know that's not cool. And also taking a soft shoe approach where you're like, oh, it's okay. And, oh, it's not that bad. It's not okay. You know what I mean? It's nothing to ignore. It's something you need to point out. Be like, yeah, there's a fucking problem. And acting like, oh no, it's not, a, it's bad. It's fucking bad, okay? And then pointing out like, well, it's not their fault. It's because they're in this situation. Cut the fuckery out. So I don't personally have a problem with it, but I want you guys to sound off. You might. What's your stance on the situation? Because as I said, Spike Lee's movie ain't gonna encourage violence. If Spike Lee doesn't make this movie, it's not like people are going to stop doing the violence. So think about it. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. It's your boy, DJ Academics. I'm out.